Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you how to do an oil change. Today we have a Yamaha FX Cruiser SVHO, I believe it's in the 2016-2017. Uh, it is a 1.8 liter supercharged, but this will be the same if you have a supercharged, non-supercharged engines. This will be fairly similar in all 1.8 liter engines. So let's start by taking off the top cover. Now we'll start by removing the seat. To remove this rear seat, little latch behind your uh, little grab hook. Put that off to the side somewhere safe. Then after you want to remove the main seat. Main seat has another latch after you take off that main portion, like this. Don't be afraid. This, well, some, some vehicles actually have a box in the back. Ours, we just keep it open. Next, in order to gain better access to your engine, we're going to want to take off the top protective cover. You're going to want to take either a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. I prefer this as it makes it a little bit easier to take off the screws. Take off one screw. They're quite long, so just don't be worried. And remove the top cover. Once removing the engine cover, you have access to both the dipstick right here, and on the other side, you'll have the oil filter. First, we'll be removing the oil from the oil pan. Right here, removing the dipstick, you'll get access to the oil pan where you're able to extract the oil. As here, we will have an oil extractor. This is able to use the suction to take out the oil from the oil pan under. So as all you need to do, insert it into the bottom. Make sure you push it all the way down so it gets all the oil to the bottom. And now just start pumping. And soon enough, you'll have all the oil extracted. As you see, oil is starting to pump out here. Now all you need to do is leave it for a few minutes and the oil will just extract itself. While you're using an oil extractor to take the oil out of the engine, this is a great time to do two things. Your first thing you're going to want to do, if you want to do it, is check around the engine bay. What I like to do is I like to grab a flashlight, just take a quick look around. I like to look at all the cables, make sure there's no fraying. I like to ensure that I take a look at all of the actual hoses and the clamps, make sure that the clamps are still all tight. You can do this by just looking. And then make sure as well that there's no leaks. So this ensures that, you know, the engine's going to be running optimally and there's going to be no leaks or problems down the road. So I just like to do this as a preventative measure while doing oil changes because while using the oil extractor, it takes a little bit of time to get the oil out of the actual engine. So, you know, take a look at the air boxes, take a look at the exhaust system, take a look at all your hose and clamps, take a look at your battery, make sure there's no corrosion on the battery, make sure your battery is, is uh, well kept because this will be a very hard thing to replace while in the water uh, and just go through the engine. And also, if you'd like to, this is a great time to actually change your spark plugs out because, you know, after running your ski for quite a quite amount of hours or beating on it, your spark plugs are going to actually wear down and you're going to have uh, wear and tear on your spark plugs. So while having your oil extraction working, it takes five minutes to do spark plugs. After hearing your extractor pull out all the last drops of oil, an extractor won't be able to get 100% of the oil out, it'll get a lot of it out. But once you kind of have it done, you can remove this, check and ensure that there's no oil left with the dipstick, put it down the tube and check the oil again. Uh, some of these turbocharged engines, if you are turbocharged or supercharged, they, were, they will burn a little bit of oil, so you might not get all of the oil that you put in, you might have a little bit less. So we're putting back in four liters as per what the Yamaha kit was uh, given to us and what we bought from the Yamaha authorized dealer. And uh, you might not get the same amount extracted, but don't be worried, that is normal. So we're gonna remove the extraction tool. Best to have a microfiber towel because as you remove it, there might be, there might be oil that comes out of the actual uh, uh, tube because it was in the actual uh, oil dipstick tube. Take it out, ensure that there's no oil. Put it to the side, take your dipstick, clean your dipstick, insert it back into your tube, take out your dipstick, and just ensure that there's no oil, oil, no oil left. So we can tell there's no oil level, it's almost next to nothing. So we can ensure that there, most, most, if not all of the oil has been removed. Now, we'll be moving on to the oil filter. Firstly, you're gonna to wanna to grab your adjustable oil filter wrench. This is what we like to use because it can fit any size, so it doesn't matter. Before we untighten it though, I like to grab a few microfiber towels 
and just insert them below the actual oil filter. As, unfortunately, this engine, it's in an awkward setup where you have to pull it out sideways from the engine. As we know, many mechanics know, oil is the worst thing to clean up. Now, I like to have another microfiber on hand to take it out just to put it under the oil filter so you don't get any extra remnants on your hands as it's annoying to clean. So you're gonna grab your adjustable oil filter wrench and place it on the oil filter here. Place it under. And you're gonna wanna tighten, at least in our case, tighten fully. And you're gonna want to use the teeth end and slowly turn it. As it should be, it should be pretty tight towards the start as you don't want your oil filter turning off here while you're riding. You're going to want to untighten it just enough where you're able to use your hands. It should be that. It should be good enough here. Now a little bit more. There we go. Yep, good enough here. So now this is where you're gonna to wanna to grab your microfiber towel, place it under the oil filter as you're grabbing it, as you're untightening here. It's a little bit of an awkward position here. Not much room, but. And now you've taken out your old oil filter and perfect, not much oil that fell on. Fell out actually, perfect. Now, what you're gonna want to do is out of your Yama Lube kit that we received, we received a new oil filter here. It should also come with a new oil filter ring on it. As you see here, this black little ring is the sealer. You're gonna have your new, we luckily have the plastic. Now you're gonna to wanna to take a little bit of the uh, oil that was on the old one and just put it around the seal here. It's just gonna create a nicer uh, seal on the actual oil filter. Now, you're gonna to want to find where you had the old oil filter and just start tightening it back up in. Pretty simple. You're gonna to wanna to firstly hand tighten it once it's hand tightened, you're going to want to grab your adjustable oil filter wrench. Thank you, assistant. Once you're finished screwing in your oil filter, you're going to want to come to the top of the engine. Here you're going to have your oil filler cap. It may be a little hard to unscrew at the start, but it'll be easier once it's up. Next. To make it easy on ourselves and to make it cleaner, we like to use a funnel to put the, to pour the oil in. Now I just like to hold the funnel at the top here and you're gonna wanna grab uh, your jet skis oil. For us, it's gonna be the 10W40 Yamalu and then just pour in. You don't wanna pour it out of control pace. You don't wanna pour it too fast else it's gonna overflow or too slow because it's gonna take a very long time. Once you poured in all four liters of your Yama Lube oil change kit, you're gonna wanna take out the funnel. Just make sure you have a rag on it so oil doesn't go anywhere. Then you're, wanna go, then you're gonna wanna grab your oil fill port cap and you're gonna wanna screw that back in. We like to just hand tighten it here as the suction of the engine will just make sure it stays in there. Next, what you like to do, or what we like to do, is grab the dipstick, clean it a few times, and you're able to read how much oil you put in and make sure it's enough for the engine. So as we see here, it's just above here. So we're good. After putting in your oil fill port cap, checking the oil level on your dipstick, you're gonna wanna put your engine cover back on so you can quickly identify it by looking at the oil fill port cap positioning hole and then apply your actual top cover like so. Push it down. And there's two, remember the two black screws that we put in, or took out, we're gonna replace back in. 
and they're quite long screws, so you're gonna you're gonna want to take your time and screw those back in. After putting on your engine top cover, we're gonna want to put back on the seat. So quickly align your seat, pop in, grab your third row seat if you do have the three seater, align it with the black plugs, secure down, and you're ready to go riding.